How's it going, everyone? It is Andre Williams, and over here we talk stocks, and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about AMC. I know it's been a minute since I did a video for you guys, but I want to make sure I keep you inside of the loop. I think this is very important, especially with a lot of the volatility that we've been seeing inside of the market. So I won't waste any more time. Let's jump into the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you are a shareholder or you're thinking about taking a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're going to be going over is the technical analysis, taking a look at the overall price action. We want to know support. We want to know resistance. We see AMC is trading in the range and we want to have a good idea of what that looks like, especially going into next week. And then secondly, we're going to be going on Fintel, taking a look at the short interest information. We want to know what is it really looking like? We only get a little bit of piece of the pie because it's not taking into consideration all of the counterfeit shares and the naked shorting that's been happening behind the scenes. But at the same time, it'll give us a good indication because we're going to be looking at the FINRA numbers. And then afterwards, we're going to be taking a look at the order flow distribution. We want to know our institutions loading up on shares as far as for today. And we realize that by taking a look at the large scale orders. And then when all of that is done, we'll be jumping into the final thoughts. So let's get to it. So we're going to be doing a technical analysis for AMC. Let's see how it performed on the day. So it ended up closing at $37.02, being down 2.91%. On the low, it tested $36.79. And then on the high, testing $39.19. When we take a look at the volume stats on the day, you can see we trade at 52.607 million shares. And as far as for the average volume over 10, in trading days, it was at 95.232 million shares. Now we are using the one year daily chart. Let's see how it's lining up with our indicators here. So we can see here from the RSI down below, it's right around 43.94. Four. And when we take a look at the indicators on our chart, we have strength above the 200 day, the 100 day, but we are below the 21 day EMA. But one thing we want to keep in mind of the fact we're seeing increasing levels of support. We saw we had support here right around this 32 range. Now we've moved back up from that 32. We see we have support here right around the 35 range. And now we're holding down support right over here at 36 and ended up closing the day right around $37. So we want to see it actually continue to hold up support in this $37 area or in the high 36s. And the reason being is this shows a very bullish sign. And what I want to look forward to is seeing us coming back to reclaim the 21 day EMA here at $40.94. We got to $39.19. So no doubt in my mind, it's definitely possible for us to revisit this area. But do keep in mind, we do have resistance right at this $40 level. So this is going to be a psychological level. You're going to see a lot of selling pressure, a lot of manipulation manipulation in this particular area. But once we have a lot of momentum and we have volume coming in, then of course we can look to get past this. And this is where we reclaim the 21 day right around 41 bucks. Let's just call it 41. And then that's when I would look forward to seeing a strong move. But for the most part, I like what I'm seeing from AMC showing consolidation, showing some support. So we can look forward to seeing this continued strength going into next week and look forward to seeing that move up. So we're on Fintel, we're going to take a look at the short interest information for AMC. So we can see the short volume ratio being at 23.44 percent as we scroll down on the page the short shares availability is at 5.4 million updated 11 minutes ago and as far as for the short ball free rate it is at 0.83 percent as we scroll down further taking a look at the history of the short volume ratio you can see here as far as for the 29th which is the close from yesterday from finra we had it at 36 0.82 and as far as for the 28th it was at 37.95 so yes we could see it did go down just a little bit but amc does continue to have short squeeze potential so this is one thing i want you guys to keep in mind and this is not even taking into consideration out of counterfeit shares that are out there and as well as the naked shorting so like i've said in previous videos already by taking a look at all of the numbers i'm still going to continue to buy and hold now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for amc so we you can see here on the inflow we have 400 and on the outflow we have 437 we had 2.79 on the large 
312 on the medium, 85.46 on the small. As far as for the outflow side, we had 6.93, and on the medium, we had 340, and on the small, we had 90.4. Eight, and of course this is in the millions as well. When we take a look at the large scale orders in the last five days, you can see it's all been outflow days. And for today, July the 30th, it was 4,136.64. So taking this into consideration here, we still saw some strength because whenever I see AMC just chilling at support, that shows us a lot because we know this stock is open to a lot of manipulation. There also is a lot of anticipation due to the fact of earnings, but again, we'll talk about that later more, so let's jump into the final thoughts. So for my final thoughts for AMC, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how well it performs going into next week. One thing that we can see clearly though, it is respecting those areas of support and it still continues to look very strong. Another thing that I wanna go over as well, it also does continue to have short squeeze potential, which many of us are already aware of that since retail investors we pretty much own the float. So as long as we see a continuation of that, that short squeeze potential is always going to be there. And in regards to as far as how you should be looking at this play, you wanna make sure you have patience and only be a part of it if you are able to. The focus is to buy and hold. The more we do this, the more control we have over AMC shares and the more we get to actually force this short squeeze and take advantage of the upside that actually comes with that. So with all of that said, hey, I'm excited to see how AMC does I know there are gonna have earnings coming out. I know we're not inside of this play just for their earnings either, but it's also as far as a shareholder is concerned, it's great when you get these sort of updates in regards to financial results. If it ends up being good and they actually end up beating expectations, hey, we could see a bit of a rally as well. So we're gonna continue to be patient, see what happens, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll be talking real soon.